Shalom, shalom. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, you are watching Journey with us. We are a nomadic family of seven traveling throughout southeastern Africa, living our best life. And we have been doing so since 2020. So in this video, we have some super juicy, wild, strange headlines to talk about in the news because I'm an entrepreneur, we're entrepreneurs, and so we pay attention to the stock markets, we pay attention to different geopolitical stuff, we're global entrepreneurs, we work with people in different areas, and so we just pay attention to different things and have some insights through our clients and through people we work with that are attached to different government spheres, okay? And so I want to just read this article to you. This is crazy. It's new. They just published it today, actually at 6 27 a.m eastern time this is on investing.com goldman sachs now sees u.s debt to gdp gdp is the gross domestic product for the business of america the ratio hitting 130 percent by 2034 versus 97 percent prior to the forecast so this is debt to gdp ratio so basically this is saying the u.s is going to have 130% debt over the gross domestic product, okay? So I'm going to finish reading. Goldman Sachs analysts said in a note that they now project a debt to GDP ratio of 130% by 2034, a significant increase from the previous forecast of 97%. This shift reflects a more challenging fiscal environment over the past five years, characterized by a persistent primary deficit, excluding interest costs approximately 5% GDP, GDP wider than historical norms during full employment periods. This debt ratio has already increased by 19 percent percentage points to 98 percent and Goldman Sachs says it's on track to surpass its post-World War II peak. So basically, if it's surpassing the post-World War II peak in America, if the debt is toppled on so much that it's as if we just came out of a world war, that is a very bad, that's like a horrible thing because for those of you who live in America, you're going to continue to see inflation. You're going to continue to see prices increase. You're going to continue to see house rates increase, which by the way, they just announced that houses will increase 6% this year, the mortgages. And so it's like, if the debt is at the highest level, at the government level, if the entity of America owes all of this debt, and then you have these landlords, these corporations who have you buying things, who have you renting from them. So they have to hike up the price to try and get this debt down. So all the prices have to go up to try and get this debt down. By the way, I am not a financial advisor. I am a financial copywriter. And so I pay attention to these trends, but this is not finance advice by any means. This is more of an outlook just from you taking some time to read these articles and I'll leave them below so that you can read these articles and do your own research and understand what's going on. And so you have all of this debt piling up and so the landlords by default, they have to increase the rates. Everybody has to target when you go to the little dollar aisle. Now it's not the dollar aisle. When you want to get like a cute little outfit. Now it's not like a cute little outfit. It's a little expensive outfit. And so you, you're going to see retail prices increase as well. You're going to see pr food prices increase and gas is also going to increase because they have just announced this. And so that's just one headline. This is one very interesting headline. And so if I were you, I would 100% start to look and see different areas of the world that I can live a better life in. And when I say better, I mean more affordable because at any given time, you should only be living on 30 to 50%, 60% of your income at most so you can save and invest the rest. Whether you're literally putting it in a high yield savings account like we do, you can check out the account we use below, or if you're literally investing in your business like we do that as well. And so that's how we're able to travel full time with a large family because we have become financially wise in these areas through getting some of this knowledge, through reading books, through experience to understand, oh, I need to understand what's going on in the world. I need to be able to save my resources because the US dollar is becoming more and more destabilized. Again, if you guys 
have been watching our channel, you know we break down in some of our recent videos how the US dollar is not going to be obsolete. It does not mean that the US dollar completely disappears. Again, look at Rome, look at Greece, look at Egypt. These are all countries that were once world superpowers, ancient kingdoms, and they have collapsed, so to speak. And so they're not the world power, but these countries and their currencies still exist. And so people still trade in those currencies, but they are not the dominant powers. They're just regular folks that aren't dominant superpowers. And so I have one more article that was really interesting that I saw this morning in your time. In my time, it's actually the late afternoon, but in your time, I saw one more article that is super interesting again this is a new trending headline i don't know how many people are covering it but i saw it on my email on yahoo and it is the fact that let me see here let me find it where did i put it actually i think i put it on this email there we go Norway, Ireland, and Spain say they are recognizing a Palestinian state deepening Israel's isolation. This is from Yahoo News. You can check it out. Look at it on Yahoo News. Norway, Ireland, and Spain say they are recognizing a Palestinian state deepening Israel's isolation. This historic move was cheered by the Palestinians and condemned by Israel, which withdrew it's ambassadors from Norway and Ireland. Like, let's just pause there. Somebody leave a comment down below and let me know what you think this means. Because if you're someone that understands or is starting to understand some of these politics and these alliances, which are really prophetic, like this is why if you're someone who believes in the Bible, you should be paying attention to this anyway, because it's all prophetic. So you can see how the world is turning. And so that it can almost seem as if you are future forecasting, but you're not future forecasting necessarily. You're just paying attention. That's it. Okay. And so I'm, I'm going to just read the article. It's very, very interesting. Israel immediately denounced the decisions and recalled its ambassadors to the three countries. Palestinians welcomed the announcements. Obviously, they're happy as an affirmation of their decades-long quest for statehood in East Jerusalem, the West Bank, and the Gaza Strip, territories Israel seized in the 1967 Mideast War and still controls. While some 140 countries, more than two-thirds of the United Nations, recognize a Palestinian state, Wednesday's cascade of announcements could build momentum at a time when even close allies of Israel have piled on criticism for its conduct in Gaza. And so with a headline like this popping up, with all the tension in the Middle East, with the Iranian president passing away in that helicopter accident, um, with everything that's going on in the Gaza Strip, with everything that's going on to destabilize that area. Again, you're going to see gold and silver increase, not financial advice. That's just for, you know, entertainment purposes so that you know that that's what's going to happen. And so with this knowledge, you can diversify your life and diversify what you're doing. You can start to look at different global bank accounts. I would not invest in anything that can be accessed in different markets. I wouldn't invest in anything in America that can only be accessed in America. If I were you, I would start looking at, okay, how can I get my investments in other countries? How can I invest in other countries? How can I do business in other countries? How can I make strategic connections in other countries? These are all things that you need to ask yourself. And this is why we decided to go ahead and open up five slots in the State of the Diaspora May 2024 edition. It's only for this month, so it's open until early next week. We are only going to be talking to five serious people. You can be a freelancer, an entrepreneur, a finance advisor, a trucker, a logistics person, a website designer, a lawyer, a nurse, or a doctor, or an HR professional, any type of professional who has their resources, has their savings, and is ready to diversify their life or has the willpower to diversify their life before 2025 or at the very minimum at the beginning of 2025 because let's think about what this world looks like in the next five years. What does America look like with a debt ratio that's hitting 130%, a debt to GDP ratio? That's where the country as a business is not producing enough money. And so they have debt that's up here and the GT GDP that's down here. That's a country where inflation hits a new high. 
that's a country where they may perhaps have to be and this is just me speculating just looking at different countries knowing about certain programs in european countries in asian countries in african countries they may have to do some type of universal basic income for americans to be able to even afford food and housing because we also have the job market that is at a decline right now because every time I log on LinkedIn as a businesswoman and just network with people, I always see these trending posts on how people cannot find jobs. And typically the people that can't find the jobs are my people, black people, okay? And so it's time for us to just get wise. Yes, it's uncomfortable to live in America in a country where it says if you're living in a post-World War III era, that's literally what the article said. It's getting worse than post-World War II. That's what the economy looks like. It looks as if you're coming out of a war. But the thing is, you kind of are coming out of a war because for the past few years, America has just been dumping trillions of dollars over to Ukraine, just spending all of this money. And then you have the stimulus, stimulus checks. And so the only thing that you can come out with with all of this is, of course, debt. And so it's going to be interesting to see what they try to do to deter this debt or what their goal is with reversing that, if they even care that much because the elites don't really care about y'all. They don't care about us. They don't care about you and me. And so we have to care about ourselves. So meet us May 30th on Zoom. Go ahead and meet us there. Check out the link in the description. We will be doing a seven-day workshop where we will meet on the 30th, which is a Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then we will meet the next Thursday to hatch out your plan over that entire week so that you can actually diversify your life and your investments. So you can see behind the scenes of how to be a digital nomad. So you can see some of these visas and different investor permits that are available. And there's so much more to moving to Africa and to moving abroad that isn't on the surface, that's not necessarily on the websites, because once you can identify patterns and once you can identify certain alliances, you're going to know how you can move without much damage, without wasting tens and thousands of dollars, the way you guys may see here on YouTube. It's like a shaky world. People are just getting got at every step. And so if you're somebody that's serious, check out the link in the description on May 30th, 2 p.m. Eastern. You can see if it's the right fit for you in the workshop shop and we would be happy to serve you so that you can move out of America by 2025. Not only move out of America, but stay out. Like what's the point of moving out if you're just going to come back, right? Move out and stay out. Plan strategically, get your finances together and understand what's going on in the world. So blessings to you, peace to you, abundance to you, and above all, get an understanding of what's going on in this world. Talk soon.